It's disgusting. I'm working on a new intro. Here's my new intro, are you ready? What's guys, everybody? Today, we are making Starbucks drinks. Homemade. You locked inside? Me too. Do you like my intro? What's guys, everybody? What are guys? This isn't part of the video yet. Let's get some wash hands ASMR. Is that coming through pretty good? Mm -hmm. I hate it. <laughs> 20 seconds. Happy birthday. <laughs> so, as you may have noticed, you're not allowed to go outside right now. And you know what people miss the most? More than their friends and their family? Starbucks. Today, we're gonna make some homemade Starbucks drinks. I can't tie this. You can loosen the neck part of it because... Somebody's calling you. Do they know that we're in the middle of a video? Uh oh. Can I? Yeah. Hi, welcome to Starbucks. Can you hear me? I can hear you. Hold your breath. Yeah, oh, it's on manual focus. Do you want it on manual? No. I, f I flipped it there. I was recording the garbage man. <laughs> yeah. I don't want to talk about it. <clears throat> I don't know what I'm doing. Wait, stop. I need to sync up the audio. I got a text. Don't come in here. Don't come in here. Oh, I'm getting cookies today. What What was my idea for this video? Can you hear the fridge? We're gonna do four levels of Starbucks drinks and level one is gonna be something shelf life conscious. And then should I try one real one? Hi, welcome to Starbucks. Do I sound like them? Yeah. <laughs> Get my keys out of here. Um, oh, we got more apples. Oh. Starbucks drinks. So the whole appeal to the Starbucks beverage is the colors, right? So we got to really match the colors nicely. We also got to find stuff that has a good shelf life. Let's take a look. Things that are popping out to me right now. Teriyaki. Fish, oh, nope, no. nope, nope, nope. Not that this is any better. Worcestershire sauce. Crush it, Worcestershire, Worcestershire. And I don't wanna lie to you guys, I have the stuff to make coffee. I'm just trying to show you what it's gonna be like to make it with stuff that you can just leave on the shelf forever. Mayonnaise. Mayonnaise actually tastes a lot like milk. You wanna try some? No, I don't wanna try it. No. What is, wouldn't it be crazy if we did? What else lasts forever? Um, I think that's gonna do it. This is really expensive, isn't it? No, it's not that expensive. We have to make it taste like coffee. Do we have yeah, cocoa powder? <gasps> nice. What's some more like coffee? Teriyaki or soy? Oh. <laughs> this is gonna be really bad. Where are you going? Taking my shoes off. I'm about to make a mess. Don't come in my house. So we're gonna make an iced beverage because I wanna fill up the space in this cup. Is that how much ice you guys use? That's a lot. Is it a lot? Aren't these lines for you? Let's say I'm making cold brew with cream, cold brew, water, cream, ice to the top. Okay. I got all dressed up for this too. Yeah, you're your little apron. You got all dressed in your apron. I'm just trying to get through college. Oh no. Give it a smack. Oh my. That's fine. There are only happy accidents and mistakes. What do they say? There's only, there's no, there's no accidents, only happy mistakes. Is that what it is? I don't know, but I like it. So we're gonna start off making an iced macchiato. Do you know what that is? Macchiato? Yeah. Cream and milk and sugar and a little bit of coffee. Should we tell them the story about the mayo? What about the mayo? What about the mayo? Remember yeah, when we bought this mayo? I actually hate this, but. I know, I know you hate it because it's about you. So we went to the grocery store because we were running low on mayo. No, okay, you tell the story and then I'll tell the story. I'm gonna tell the story. Wow. You don't get to talk. I will cut out everything you say. We were at the grocery store and we went down, is it the international aisle? It's got all like the condiments and stuff like that. Completely empty and I'm walking through, I'm thinking in my head, gotta get mayo. I know where it is. I see it right at the end of the aisle. And as I'm walking, this African-American gentleman comes walking down the aisle this way. And now I'm thinking, okay, do I need mayo? I don't need mayo. What's he gonna think? 
in my head, I'm like, you know what? I'm over this mayo thing. I was hoping that you had forgot that we needed mayo. So I was just trying to beeline past it. I was like, I'm just, we're just two dudes, whatever. And then Brie comes up to the mayo and she says, hey baby, the mayo's right here. <laughs> and then it was like, I have two options. Either I pretend like I have no idea who you are or I go along with it and just try to play it cool. So I'm like, oh, there's the mayo. You're like, what kind of mayo do you like? I was like, it's all the same. It's, I don't care. You're like, I love mayonnaise for every meal. I eat it by the spoon. <laughs> No. The last part isn't true. Everything else is true. So I tried to save face. It didn't work. My girlfriend outed me and here I am with, a bottle, with a bottle of it and I'm about to dump it in. Anyway, macchiato, you start with milk, right? Yeah. Ooh, can I get a... Oh my god, that was a straight hair <laughs> Did it look like I farted? Okay. <laughs> so you start with the milk. Oh Ew. my god. Ooh. Mm. Two shots of mayonnaise. That's okay, that'll be good. <gasps> Did you just... No, it's some... I kissed my other finger. Baby, the mayonnaise is over here! <laughs> well, I can never talk to that guy ever again. I don't know who he is, but now I can't even be his friend. Ice. That's the next thing. Ooh. The next thing. And then... Do you want to grab a shot glass and measure out your shot? Yeah, I guess. <laughs> No one ever expected to pour this much teriyaki sauce in anything, which is why they put that lid on there. Oh, so... <laughs> <laughs> it looks alright. I think that's fine. Usually you get a nice blend <laughs> from the coffee to the milk, but because this is mayonnaise and teriyaki sauce, we don't get that nice a blend. It's a nice harsh um, stop. Okay. And then... I, uh, this isn't a lot. Should I put water in it? Sure. So okay. that's a little more. It's ombre. Oh, there's like chunks of mayo. Oh no. This is gonna be good. I can't get this look off my face. Cause I had to drink it. We're gonna go with a <laughs> spoonful of cocoa. Maybe I'll mix it in a little bit. It looks dry on the top still. I don't think cocoa is, is very soluble in teriyaki sauce. Why is it staying dry? Look at this. It is kind of actually a fun little science experiment. And I'll be the first to try this human experiment. It How looks dry. <laughs> this is weird, actually. It still looks like the surface of Mars. Also, congratulations on the baby Elon Musk. Brought to the world, baby. <laughs> and then what caramel macchiato isn't complete without a drizzle? It gets a drizzle, right? I don't think caramel goes bad. So you could probably just get caramel. I don't have any. It's not looking good. Kind of smells good, and I'm not gonna lie. Well, because the only thing at the top is the cocoa and the syrup. So there you have it, a shelf life conscious caramel macchiato. We got our milk substitute, our coffee substitute. Coffee lasts forever in the pantry too, doesn't it? Um. Water, cocoa powder, and Aunt Jemima's original syrup. If I put it all the way down the bottom, it's just gonna be mayo. That's why I'm saying you should just mix it. Just mix the whole thing? Yeah. Does that look like coffee a little bit? The color minus the white chunks. Minus the mayo chunks. Do I have to drink that? Yes. Mmm. That's really good. It'll make sense in post. Should I smell it? So the top of it, it's really messing with me because the top of it is just all the cocoa powder. So when I go and smell it, it's just like it's cocoa powder. But I know when I go to take a drink, it's gonna be watered down teriyaki sauce and mayonnaise. And I'm not excited about it. But I guess that's better than smelling something bad. My heart is actually like beating a little bit. Okay, ooh. That was really bad. Ugh. I guess my expectations for that drink are just a lot, like too different from like what I just tasted. It tastes mostly like teriyaki sauce. 
give it another go. No, what? For good measure. Oh, I haven't eaten today, I can't vomit. I'm already crying. That's pretty good. <laughs> oh, I'm fine. Oh. Oh. <clears throat> you wanna take a sip? No. Coming up next, diarrhea. You added me in the mayonnaise aisle. Now you have to suffer the consequences. It's just cocoa. I'm a little nervous. I mean, come on. Diarrhea. I'm scared. Okay, I'm gonna just do it. It's disgusting. I took a sip and it was just like, it's teriyaki. And then you get a chunk of mayo and then a slight hint of chocolate that's not supposed to be there. <laughs> Give me a rating here. A seven. That's pretty good. It's pretty good. Yeah, I agree. The mayo chunk, that's what's gonna get you. Cause you expect, you know what teriyaki sauce tastes like. In the appropriate environment, it's fine. I think it's coming out my nose. There's still some dry chunks of, oh. Ready for a good shot of this? I think that's doomed. There's still mayo all over the place. So we're gonna get a different cup for level two. Level two, can you make a macchiato with coffee? We could try. Why not? I wish I had more light over here. Ooh, let's just make it on the table, huh? I need an extension cord! I can't find the extension cord. Oh, I remember. Don't come back here! I can get a little bit. We're gonna try this, this might be enough. Don't stop till you get enough extension cord. Nope. Eh. Maybe a while. We're in. Now we're making coffee. I told you, I said it's in there, babe. I thought you meant it was like in there ready to go. No, here, I can put it in my no, compost. No, no. Put it in my compost. Where's your compost? Outside. Okay, now's probably a good time to tell you that I don't actually work for Starbucks. We never got my name tag. It's okay. No, it's not okay. Jane, we are not refilling all of this. Says who? I need the name tag now. I'm making her get the name tag that flies back. What's in your hand? Name tag. <gasps> Fly, where is he? Oh, there he is. You used to have paint pens, but you're not sure. Pink highlighter? That's probably gonna do nothing, huh? Did it work? No. How about we put on a piece of paper and then just glue it or tape it onto that? That's gonna look so bad. Okay, let's do it. Can I just be Brie? Do I have masking tape? No. Don't lie to me. I'm just going into the garage. I like to be on camera. What is this? <gasps> Ah, this is great content. Keep going. Your name coming through. Just right over it. <laughs> I don't know if you guys can tell, but my girlfriend's done with me right now. <laughs> it's just my arms hurt. Get new arms. God gave you two arms for a reason. I tell you that all the time. Now I'll go back to the Sharpie bin. This is gonna amount to five seconds of content and it's been like 20 minutes. I think that's just a little bit spicier to make my name Dane. It's a little more Starbucks-y vibe and it gives them a lot of opportunities to spell it wrong. I got my girlfriend on a really neat audio setup. We're finally monitoring our audio. Look at this. We're finally monitoring our audio with these headphones. Very beautiful. It's been 30 minutes and I got my name tag. So let's get into it. Number one thing you need when you're making pour over or drip coffee, filter. You would not believe how many times I forgot the filter. And then I'm having a crunchy, chewy coffee. Is this what we use for it? Yeah. I'm not getting sponsored, so we should probably blur that. You should also blur the Starbucks then. No, I am sponsored by Starbucks. You wanna measure? That's a, that's good. So my mom always taught me that if you don't go to college, you can drop out, no one's ever gonna love you. You're never gonna amount to anything. You won't even have a good job. And why would anyone love that? But she also taught me four cups for a quarter cup. <laughs> I know. Perfect. Four cups. That's not four cups. Four cups. Get a good shot of that too, so I can blur it out, because I'm not sponsored by them either. This thing was over right here, and you want it to be over right here. I know, but that's the thing, is that it's got a little swivel. Did you know that? Mm -hmm. No, you didn't. <laughs> you didn't know that. She didn't know that it pushes it over. <laughs> All right, start the coffee. She didn't know that. Press on. Is that it? Mm -hmm. Push this back a little bit before it gets, oh crap. That's good, it's supposed to make that noise, right? The snake. I think we'll go lactose free for level two. We still have some of our ice. Is it ice first? At Starbucks it's always ice last. I know. I'm, I'm a barista too, you know. Some weird stains on here. 
Just kind of weird. I don't what know what it is. It is. Hmm. I don't know. Can you get some ASMR here? Or I guess that's my job, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. Can we pause? No, this is good content. Okay. Probably stop asking you questions because I already know the answer. Uh, for that, it's always a lot of milk at Starbucks. Always get a lot. Oh, doo doo. Well, no wonder it was so bad that cocoa's. Oh, there's teriyaki sauce in that. I thought it was just like spilt cocoa. It's actually the whole mixture there. I need back support. Do you want a chair? Yeah. People say chivalry is dead. Well, look at this. You think it's hot? So don't have caramel. Maple syrup or honey. We'll do honey. No, you put the drizzle. You put the drizzle on top of the espresso. What goes in for flavor? Vanilla. <laughs> I know. Oh, that knife there. Oh my goodness. All right. I think. Oh. <laughs> Coffee's ready now, boys. So now, ice. Yeah. I got a little melty. That's okay. I prefer to go one at a time, full handed, because that's just more intimate. They say, wow, you're so delicate. You're so nice to that ice. Okay, and then, coffee? Yep. Coffee next, I know. Not too shabby. Not so bad. Much better. May I say I probably won't vomit this time if I do say so myself. I think it's still warm, like awkwardly like warm. Oh yeah, you just poured like hot coffee. So it's probably gonna be watered down a lot. It's time for the taste test. Everything smells like teriyaki and then it's making me taste teriyaki. Sometimes coffee be smelling like soy sauce. I should not have had that teriyaki. Pretty. So now we're gonna mix, oh, there's a whole lot of honey down there. ASMR. I'm just slurping up the honey at the bottom of the cup. <laughs> yeah. I don't hate it. Not bad. Can I try some? Yeah, you try some. Yeah. I mean, you can't go wrong, it's delicious. One, two, ten. I would say an eight. There's no ice in here now, but flavor-wise, it's So delicious. one point more than the, the other one? <laughs> yeah. Okay, for sure. I agree with you on that. Level three. It's a surprise. I told you it was a surprise. I'm gonna clickbait it. Let's get our things ready. This is a single shot. So should I make it in a little baby cup? Where should I make it in? This little mason jar? Ooh, yeah. that's cute. It's Level three deserves new eyes. There's old people outside. I was just yelling. I don't know if they heard me. I think they, they spooked them. Are they gone? Well, I was getting like irrational fear of old people. <laughs> Ever since the accident, I don't want to talk about it. Hey, Smart, nice. What do you do first? Vanilla? Yeah, pump the vanilla. So let's do two pumps. Vanilla. I know. Okay. I didn't even ask the question. I, I will cut that out in post. Oh. Oat milk. Give it a shake, baby. Think of it like a baby. Shake a baby never hurt nobody. Don't do that. Don't do that to a baby. Is that ASMR? Get a good close up of that so I can blur it out. Um, Ice. No, milk. Why? So we can we can evenly measure the amount. How you are so deep I'm to measure. That's good. Okay, I'll shut up. My show. I'm the chef. This is my cooking show. If you really can, go in just a little bit closer. You can touch the drink with your fingertips. Yeah, it's polite. Let me get a good day of tomorrow of this. I would do a little bit more ice. I think this right ice here. amount of good is good. Make sure, okay, we got water in there. First thing you gotta do is check your water levels. I know, I know that. Step two. Um, what's step two? What's step two? Run the water, clear it out, do a run, one cup. Do you want me to help you? No, I got it. Uh, I know. I know. Okay. You want to dry it out a little bit? Yeah. Isn't it weird that you can hear me no matter where I go? Hey. Hey. Hey, how's it going? Oh, there's a teddy bear in here. You want to see? Is it good? You want approximately 30 to 40 pounds of downward force? How do you know when it's full? You want this? To be a level? Yeah, to be level. 
I know. Such a backseat driver. Uh, anyway, this seems like a lot of coffee grounds for one espresso shot. That's probably good. I would do a little bit more. Okay. Sometimes it's good to do that on a clean surface. Don't do it how I did it, but that's how you do it. You put it in and you pull it to a 90. Is it in there right? Oh. Do you go over 90? I always go all the way over. You like yank it? Like yeet it? Yeah. So yeah, that's good. Nice and tight. Ready for this B roll? Oh yeah. Oh wow. Wow, look at that. Wow. That's so good. And that's a macchiato. I'm gonna do the honey drizz again, I guess. I can use a level two straw for a level three drink, right? Yes, you can. Okay. I just wanna, I just wanna blend it a little bit. How's that look? Okay, B roll. <laughs> this is my favorite part of the macchiato. Usually, I just drink the bottom half and then I throw the rest away. You know what it tastes like? What? Honey and oat milk. Why don't you mix it up? Sometimes when I don't have whipped cream, I like to blow bubbles into the customer's drinks. And spoot out. Anyway, they love it. I know you know. That's how we met. I blew bubbles into her drink and she came back a week later. She was like, do you have mono? Did you give me mono? <laughs> hey, random question. Do you have mono? <laughs> to which I said, yeah, obviously. What are your thoughts? When did Good. Okay. The, um, I prefer oat milk. I'm gonna start doing that. So the oatmeal, is there oatmeal in here? Oat milk? Oat milk. The oat milk has a nice creamy flavor, which I think tastes a lot better than milk, personally. Milk also gives me really s smelly, stinky farts. Stinky doo-doo poo-poo farts. <laughs> then the espresso shot is just nice. Tastes a lot better than just coffee. I'll let you have a try. Delicious. Super sweet. There's two pumps of vanilla and honey drizzle, so it's super sweet. It's delicious, but if, if you like super sweet stuff, caramel, honey macchiato, whatever we did, yeah. Out of 10? I'm gonna give it a nine. I would say 10 if it wasn't so sweet. 10 to other people, but you're stingy. Yeah. Are you guys excited? We're on a level four now. You know what's gonna be level four? Level four, no fat, no cal, no carb, sugar-free, no room, no whip, extra ice, ice water. And I hope I don't mess it up. And it's really that simple. You can add more water, more ice to your liking, whatever you want. A level two straw cannot be used in a level four drink. That's a chunk of ice. It's light, smooth, not creamy, cold. Hydrogen based, refreshing. Um, it's like water. You think they know what water tastes like? It tastes like water, cold water. I'm gonna give that a 10. What do you think? You give that a try. Get the 10 from me. I feel really bad for anyone who like watched all that. Oh, blurry. Should I thank him? It's the FedEx man. Wow, here it is. You wanna see what it is? Let's open it up together. <gasps> Whoa. Looks it, like a... It's a handle. Oh. What were you gonna say? Uh, delivered. Okay, well do you want to have an outro? I don't know how to end this one. I'll probably have to edit this one. This one's not here. I'm putting it in in post. Here's four levels of Starbucks to make at home. And I hope you guys enjoy at least three of them. Thanks for watching. Give him a kiss. Damn. New videos every Tuesday, every Thursday, every Friday, every Saturday. None of them are mine. I'm gonna steal videos, I'm gonna upload stolen videos, and I hope you guys love it. Starbucks even closed? No.